YouTube, it's your boy Rage King, and I am back with another Dauntless video. And today I am going to do a basic tutorial for beginners on how to survive Blaze Escalation 10 through 50 and how to defeat Toradorgo. Before we get started, I would ask if you would please leave a like on the video as it shows your support. Likes are always free, and they show your support to the video and shows that everything I'm doing is entertaining. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be a basic tutorial on what you want to do uh, if you're a repeater main. Okay, now the first thing you want to start off, as you see over here, you look at my stats. The two things you must go in there with, the three things you really must go in there with, in my opinion. Now, if you want to battle a little different with your repeaters, that's on you. I'm going to tell you what works for me. I'm just saying try it out. You know, if it works for, if it works for you, go ahead and try it. If it don't work for you, that's cool. You know, that's cool. We ain't here to, you know, it ain't, it's, not, it's more than one way to skin the cat, as the old folks would say. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if you're going to go to Blaze Escalation 10 through 50, what you want to do is you want to go in here with plus six five proof each and every single time. This is an absolute must. Every stage, you're going to have to deal with some kind of blaze something. So there's going to be fireballs from the sky, lava balls on the ground, from the behemoths themselves, lava on the ground, you name it. You must go in there with plus six fireproof. You must be completely immune to being set on fire if you even want to stand a chance. Now, in order to get this plus six fireproof, the way I've done it is, is I've gone to this Charrock, uh, this Charrock helmet, the volcanic helm. And uh, since it's got a defensive cell to it, I've added plus three fireproof cell. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and knock that. I went ahead and knocked that out myself uh, in one piece of gear. Um, if you want to do it different, that's you. Um, again, like I said, this is just the way I've done it. This is, uh, this is the way I've done it, and it worked for me. If you've got a different strategy for the way you use repeaters, that's on you. And this is just for repeaters, y'all. Uh, this is just for repeaters. This is not for the axe or the hammer. This is just for repeaters. I'll have more videos on those coming later on. Uh, continuing. Uh, but you want to go in there plus six fireproof the way I did it to you know give me the most space to make myself the most dynamic as I've gone with the volcanic helm who's already uh, this is a level 12 volcanic helm that's the Chorog helmet it's got plus three fireproof on it already and I got the plus three fireproof defensive cell I would suggest using these if you don't want to use that fine that's you but if you want to maximize your slayer's ability to survive this you must have plus six fireproof and I was I would strongly and highly suggest not just a recommendation not saying you absolutely have to do it just a recommendation plus six volcanic I'm plus excuse me plus 12 volcanic helm with plus three fireproof and a plus three fireproof cell another must you must go into blaze escalation 10 through 50 with if you want to stand a chance it's plus six tough you must maximize your absolute max health if you, I mean, you can go in there with less health than max, but I'm telling you, you're going to have a hell of a time getting through it if you don't have your max health. Go in there with max health. It helps. A way to get max health. The way I've done it is, is I've got the Nasher. Again, I've done this combination. I've got the plus 12. i got the uh, level 12 Nasher cloak that's got the plus 3 tough on it, and it's got an, uh, uh, a plus 3 uh, tough cell, defensive cell attached to it. If you feel like doing it another way, another way you could also do it is, is you could also go, excuse me, you could also go to the Sight of Stone. That's the uh, Scarn Helmet. You can do that. It's also got a defensive cell to it, and you can also just do this little combination right here. You know what I'm saying? But the way I've done it is, is because I want to do five, plus six fireproof. I got the volcanic helm, and I'm going to come back with that plus three, uh, f plus three fireproof cell. Sorry for stuttering, y'all. I'm just waking up. <laughs> But uh, again, I'm going to go through again. Uh, the plus six uh, tough, you must go through. You must absolutely have. Find out whatever combination of, of gear you need to get through with it. But the way I do it is, is I got the Nasher Cloak all the way to a plus 12. And I got the plus three tough cell because it's got a defensive cell attachment to it. You rock in with those two right here. That's going to give you the plus six fireproof and a plus six tough cell. You rock in with these two right here. Guarantee you will stand at least a puncher's chance. Another thing I like to use is plus six conditioning. I like to have my Slayer in shape, especially in Escalation 10 through 50. You will have your stamina completely deprived of you if you do not go in here with plus six conditioning. Especially, I have plus six conditioning with, with repeaters, so I can only imagine what the conditioning would be with something heavier like an axe, like the Aether Strikers, like the Hammer, you know what I mean? Even to a lesser degree, the Chain Blades. So go in there with the plus six conditioning. If you do not have plus six conditioning, not saying it will be impossible, but you will have a tougher time getting through Escalation Blades 10 through 50 if you do not have plus six conditioning. Another thing I like to use is plus six agility. Now that that, that card that uh, that reduces the cost of stamina. <laughs> 
the conditioning makes your stamina go up maximize that it goes up as fast as it possibly can the plus six agility that ca uh, that causes you to use uh, less stamina and in something like blaze escalation 10 through 50 especially when you're fighting two behemoths at once agility and conditioning will be paramount um, another one I'd like to use uh, if you can help it if you don't like to use the agility cell another one I'd like to I would like to I would like to um, recommend you use is the evasion cell if you see right here the evasion cell plus three try to get that to plus six if you can as it increases the time you're invincible when dodging now this is important especially when you're fighting two behemoths because they they tend to like to put you in the corner they tend to like to double team and they love to sneak attack you so if you use this and you know how to dodge this will make sure you do the most amount of damage while taking the least amount of damage okay you could also use that <laughs> Um, another another setup I like to use is the uh, for the conditioning. I got the clutches of swarm. Whichever ones you like to use, you go ahead and use yourself. Uh, that's on you. But the one I like to use is the clutches of swarm for the conditioning, and I add an agility cell to it. Uh, if I wanted to, if I don't want to use the agility cell and say I just want I just don't want to be touched when I dodge, I'll just put on these two evasion cells right here. Boom, now that's plus six, you know what I mean? Or hell, if I want to switch it up and I just want to give myself a little bit of best of the both wor uh, the best of both worlds, what I'll do is, is I'll slap on that agility cell right there and then I'm going to just leave that bad boy right here, that evasion cell right there. Now I get a little bit of the best of the both worlds. Now if you go over here and look, that's minus 30 that, uh, dodge stamina cost. I could take some of that. And the evasion increases in uh, the evasion cell, plus three evasion cell, increases dodge and vulnerability windows by 21%. I can give myself a little bit of best of the both worlds right here. Um, another thing I like to use is the uh, Aetheric Attunement uh, for lantern attacks. Uh, speaking of lanterns, the lantern you want to go in here with with Blaze Escalation 10 through 50 is uh, the path. I like to go in here, especially if you're a beginner and you're just trying it out for the first time. You you really, I would highly suggest you go in here with the Pangar Shine that does a lot of frost damage. And we all know frost does a lot of damage. It does extra damage against Blaze. So basically, you want to go in here with a uh, a, a, a fireproof, so go in here with fire with fireproof gear. Something that's gonna give you a lot of conditioning, and something that's gonna, basically something that's gonna allow you to move, get out the way, and not and not cost you too much stamina, and also do a lot of frost damage. Now, for the weapon you want to use for my repeater mains out there, what you want to use is you want to use this Blizzard Barrel, uh, standard barrel. Mine's are stronger than my uh, Blizzard right now, but I would highly recommend you use your Blizzard Barrel because it does that frost damage. As you see, it's plus 80 against it's plus 80 against. Uh, against blaze so that really helps um, another thing you could want to use I would highly suggest you use is either the salvo chamber salvo chamber if you just look and just do a lot of damage a lot of basic damage uh, the full board chamber you can use that um, and it also pushes you backwards it can also help you get out of danger which is something I like to use as one of my main weapons or you could also use the marksman chamber which does a lot of part damage say you're looking for uh, you're trying to blow off pieces of a behemoth um, I personally like to use the full board chamber, but seeing as how uh, you try, say you're trying to craft uh, any kind of gear, especially Torgadoro gear, um, you want to use the marksman chamber because it does part damage as you see right here. Fires a shot in the line, dealing 250 damage to the first behemoth hit. If the part is struck, that part does 40% more damage from shots for 10 seconds if it's empowered. Uh, the damage increases to 80% and uh, your allies get a 25% damage buff too to part damage. Um, I, I would highly suggest that if you try to get uh, the uh, Torcadoro snout or any behemoth for that matter. But if you're trying to try, uh, you're trying to craft Torcadoro gear, especially you want to use the marksman chamber because it does a lot of part damage. Um, I like using the saboteur's grip because it gives me a landmine and it can interrupt behemoths if used correctly. But if uh, if you're not if you don't want to use that, I would uh, also suggest the captain's grip, especially if you're trying to um, do part damage because it, it grants you a buff for 20 seconds for 15 seconds. And if it's empowered and you you know you go get collect a buff, everyone on your team gets a buff for a little while. So that's also nice too. Um, a prism you would like to use is either the snowdrift prism excuse me or the glacial prism because they do that ice damage you can use something like the stone heart prism because that does neutral damage but I would highly suggest for my beginners out there if you want to maximize the amount of damage you do I'd highly suggest a snow drift prism or the glacial prism because they do frost damage and last but not least a mod you want to use I would you can use any mod you want really 
Um, but a mod say if you want to dodge out of the way is the extraction catalyst. Uh, the extraction catalyst, excuse me, because uh, both your ability cooldowns by uh, cooldown reduce both ability cooldowns by two seconds when dodging through behemoth's attack. So it also it, it helps. Uh, it's also a modified way, another you know hybrid way of uh, increasing your uh, your evasion window, your evasion cell. Um, you can move faster with the light wave frame. You can move faster uh, once you got six. Uh, once you got uh, when your ammo is at six or less, uh, the lucky magazine, the plus two, uh, the two percent pl uh, critical strike chance for each round missing from the magazine. So say you got twelve, that stacks up the more magazines you have missing for you from your clip. Uh, the precision sights, that's uh, a wonderful thing if you want to do part damage. Uh, it stacks up to five times. It deals eight increased damage when you do it. Another one, I would uh, a good combo if you want to use with a good combo you want to use with the salvo chamber, especially if you're looking for parts. Uh, and again, you want to add uh, if you're also looking for just part damage with the repeaters, and you're a beginner in Blaze Escalation 10 through 50, the captain's grip, the combination of the captain's grip, the salvo chamber, and precision sights will do you wonders if you're trying to do part damage. Um, the one I personally like to use the most is down here the scope sights is because I like to keep my distance I like to be able to shoot I like to be able to do my damage and be able to stay in the, and be able to see everything that's going on around me but whatever you but if you're looking for part damage precision sights if you just want to just do damage period and uh, avoid getting hit I would highly suggest doing the scope sight because it increases the damage fall off range by 20%, which means you by 25%, which means you can be further away and do more da and and still do damage and be aware of everything more around you. And you know, the field is more open to you. You have more uh, opportunities of being more aware of where you're at. Part damage uh, with the blade storm cell as well. That also helps with part damage if you're looking for that. Um, if you're looking for wound damage, if, if you're looking for wound damage, then you'll probably go to the barb cell. But um, I would suggest if you're just doing part damage and you're a beginner, uh, add that blade storm cell on there, and you won't go wrong. Um, that is my video for today. I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, my name is Rage King, and uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. And I will be back later with more videos. I will see y'all later.